Hello everyone. Good evening. I I hope everyone is doing great. So today we are going to learn another topic: managing Pega attachments in Amazon S3. So what does mean here managing? Managing means whenever we are uploading any Pega like attachments to the Pega case or viewing or deleting. So basically here, um, what all actions can be performed is that creating a document in Pega and then deleting a document in Pega and then also fetching that document for viewing purpose. So by default, right? If you do not make any changes and try to upload any document to the Pega case, what happens? It gets saved to the Pega database. But sometimes, okay, depending on the client, okay, we need to save the data to a different repository. It could be Amazon S3 or like in in Azure, or maybe you can use JFrog, or you can use the local uh, a Filebase repository. But uh, okay, so so here today we are going to learn with S3. Okay, so the moment we'll upload, the document will go to the S3. If we delete, then the document will get deleted from the S3, and then also we can view that. Okay, but before we go and do that, okay, I had already created a video. Okay, and on this video only few comments came. Okay, that uh, can we do uh, like uh, with Amazon S3? So last time I had done with the local file system. Okay, so what does this video does it? Okay, like it's alternative, right? So how we can manage the document through the API? Okay, so as I mentioned that. Uh, Today also when we are going to do that, okay, it will all through happen through the API. So basically, Pega have that uh, in bit like out of the box API to uh, get the file, create a file, and and other things. So you can watch this video. So this video I created to manage the file, uh, okay, in in alternative to connect file because in the older versions we used to use connect file to create a file or okay. Um, create a file in the folder, but now Pega have given that API. But I'm not going into the detail of those API because that entire things is covered in this this video, so you can watch that. Okay. Now what I'm going to simply show you is that uh, any document is getting attached to the Pega is how it can go to the Amazon S3. Okay. So to start with, first what we need to do that. Okay. We need to create a bucket in Amazon S3. Okay. So uh, like and before that you need to have that account. So I have already created that so you can see that Pega Meta bucket I have created that and inside that I have created a folder as well that my application is loan app So I have created that and you can see that currently there is no document So this is the first things which you need to do Okay, the second thing which you need to do is now you have your everything is ready at Amazon site You need to go and you need to navigate to your application. Okay, but before navigating and doing that I'll show you that before doing that configurations, what happens to the attachment when I'll be creating a case now? Okay, so where it will get stored? So I'll show you that one before we go and manage in the S3. So let me create a case. So here I'm just creating, I've just given some sample value. So here I'll attach a document. So to attach a document, maybe I'll attach some document. Okay. So I just now attach a document okay and we can view the document as well okay now let's see okay so if I'll go to the data work attached file instances we can see that data work attached file so in a reference of h101 we can see that and in this one we can see that entire binary as well see here py attach a stream so basically the entire the the file metadata and the file got stored into the pega database okay now what will happen okay once we started storing to the amazon s3 okay so instead of this one this value there is another value will come the repo repo name okay that repository name that this data is going to a, a repository and that that value will come here so now let's start doing that one okay so for that we have to do a very simple configuration okay so we can go to the application okay and integration and here so content storage you can see that currently it is stored at a store in pega database now i'll select it to store in a repository okay so here to do that okay we can create a repository so i'll give a name or uh, what we can do is right here the default one is there i'll save as that okay so you can just save as that so let's see that okay i can say that my s3 repo something like that you can give a name create now you need to create this as well so you need to create aws authentications profile okay because that is what is asking us to create authentications profile 
so i'll create that now here now so this is the important things that how you'll get that access key id and secret code okay so for that you need to again go to the aws you need to go to your profile and security credentials under this one you can see that access keys okay so if you don't have you need to you may need to create but i already have so what i'll be doing okay i'll be copying this value let me see that how i can copy or i can delete and recreate and show you okay so i can just delete and delete and i can recreate okay so i'll say create okay and i need to create access key so now i can copy that value okay so i'll copy this value in access key and i'll go ahead and now i'll copy this secret as well and then i'll paste it now this is done okay so now we can come back and try to save it okay so so it got saved okay now what's that issue is coming my history but this bucket is not correct so we need to update the bucket as well so let's update the bucket name so let's go back to s3 again so bucket and copy that bucket name so we have the activator bucket so this we can keep that and let's try to save it yeah it got saved okay if you want to provide any other things like uh other details okay the advanced settings you want you want to do you can review that now let's perform a test connectivity so it's a showing success validate rip validate repo so that also it's a showing correct okay so now this is ready so we can again go back to our application okay and under this one if i'll refresh okay let's refresh our applications again so we'll start getting the new repository so you can see that my s3 repo we are getting and now we can select that in which folder you want to do that okay so see the loan app is coming because i have created that loan app here okay if you want i can create another folder create another folder loan app one and create a folder now if i go again right here cancel and try to browse again we might see that loan app one as well so see we can see that now select and submit it now this is the configurations which you need to do okay so you you are done okay so let's revisit again what you need to do so the first things which you need to do is you need to create you need to have your aws account after having that aws account you need to create s3 bucket and then you can create a folder or if you do not create a folder it can just select that root so that's done their side now in the pega side you need to create a repository and to create a repository you should have a repository access uh, in access group you should have that role okay so this is the role pega rules repository administrator otherwise you will not be able to create that so once you are able to create that repository while creating the repository you need to give uh, the s3 authentications okay so the way i gave okay so access uh, key id and secret code and for that you can navigate it to security and under that security credentials and from there you can create access key so that's done and and then apply to your uh, s3 repo rule and then it will get uh, once you save okay once you save then it will so the uh, uh, like the connectivity and everything is fine then you can come back to your applications and apply to that now let's see that okay let's let me create or attach a new document to this one only let's see what's happening so let me create let me attach the same document okay now and attach it so you can see that it got attached okay let's see what's happened here so we got another one as well okay at 6 6 let's see if you have the file so you can see that py attach stream is not there if i compare with the previous one see this has a big binary stream but this one doesn't have and if i search it should have a repo so you can see that py is stored in repository yes okay and which repository stored me uh, my s3 repo okay so it got stored and in this one we don't have now let's come back to here and see that if we can see that our file here as well so let's go to the s3 bucket and see that here click on that loan app one see that 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 same picture we can see here as well now if i go ahead and try to view it from the pega we can we'll be able to view it let's see that okay so this one at i attached at 6 6 let's click on that see we are able to see that now if i delete it okay 
so we deleted it okay and let's see that if it got deleted from pega yes it got deleted now let's see that okay if it got deleted from here as well so we just need to refresh let me see that see the document is gone we don't have now let's attach again okay and while attaching maybe let's rephrase here once we rephrase then from here also that that will go away so we can see only one here now let's try to attach one more this time maybe we can say a name date 2 and we can say that test aws s3 and it got attached it got attached test aws s3 this time also let's review that here see the document came now i'll go ahead i like uh, i have already viewed it now if i delete it it will go away so so you can see that right how easily we can integrate with amazon s3 okay and and manage our document okay instead of storing into the pega okay and there are like multiple reasons uh, many clients doesn't wants to store their document in pega okay earlier we used to store in some other file system right like uh, maybe filenet or enterprise content manager or like in 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 other places and to do that what we used to do that okay we used to create our separate services okay but now you can manage it easily here okay you just need to up update your applications and you can do that so this is one way when you're attaching your document to your case but what if you you want to do with some one time utility and other stuff okay so for that also as i said you can go ahead and watch the video so if i just say that tx dx d underscore px new file i think we have uh, the, the database basically the pega have already created that api in these api is used in the background when we are doing from the case as well okay so if you watch this the other video mine okay other video then you'll be able to understand that if you want to do a standalone but this will only help when you're directly when when you're sending all the documents from your case right uh, to that s3 but if you want to send the selective one you may need to see that video and see that how you can use that repo like the repo, repo api so see this one this is the uh, one of the api which creates that file okay in the in the repository and it takes that what it takes if i just see on the high level repository name and the file page so from this repository it will take that file this file and put into that okay it will take file path and put into this repository but you can watch that that video and it will help that so that's it for this sessions uh, please try and if you need any help okay let me know okay i can help with that thank you thank you very much have a good day bye